There are two things right now on the internet that you simply cannot avoid. Firstly, one is Huck Tua. If you've seen that lass, you can't avoid her. And secondly, it's Brennan Ayuk to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Well, and also it's kind of an oxymoron as well. I'm over here. I'm overhearing his name, talking about him, but yet I'm doing a video about Brandon Ayuk. But I do want to say one thing about Brandon Ayuk. But I'm going to bring up these tweets first uh, from Adam Schefter. 49ers disgruntled receiver Brandon Ayuk is meeting today with the 49ers, as the ESPN's Real Clark reported on NFL Live. Now I believe that was yesterday, so I'm doing this about 17 hours or 20 hours later. Um, so he was meeting with the 49ers to try and get a deal done, contract situations, or figure out with a trade too. And there was other, another tweet I saw was Ari Mirov says here, Brennan Ayuk told Real Clark that he's been taking negotiations personal and the offers so far have affected him. Ayuk's first choice was to stay in San Fran, but he's comfortable playing elsewhere if they're willing to trade him. Well, of course, that, that to me says... If they're going to sign the guy for a, meg, a big contract, you'd be happy playing for the 49ers. However, if they're going to trade you somewhere, somewhere else to make to, to pay you money, then yeah, you'd be very willing to go there too. So it's kind of in, in, in this situation, uh, for this player, it's kind of a win win because either way, if, if the 49ers say, nah, you're too much of a head case, can't handle you, can't deal with you, you don't fit our program, we're going to trade you away to another to another team and you'll get a fresh start. And when you have that, you're still getting your money, your contract. You're still getting a three-year, four-year contract, whatever it may be. Now, when I said I'm kind of over it, I do want to make one point. If he does sign, if the Steelers go out and get him, if Omar Khan, they do a trade, they give away a first-round pick, they pay $30 million per year, which we have the highest, one of the highest caps next year, they still got to pay Cameron Haywood, I believe, a, a contract. Should get done there. They've got to pay, hopefully, maybe a quarterback next year. Uh, does Najee get a contract? Where's the money come from? In that situation, do you go and get, do you pay Warren as well? Do you pay Muth? You know, I'm not the guy that does all the numbers. But if it does happen, this offense will be times 10 better. You know, or maybe, maybe that's an exaggeration, but it'll be much more better than what it is now. I've been talking about this whole idea around receiver two, where there's pickings, there's no receiver two. There's three, four, five, and six. But that, to me, doesn't bother me either because we have Zach Azani, the receiving head coach, receiving coach, who is figuring out ways to use the guys like Van Jefferson, Calvin Austin third. I'm a Steelers fan, so I'm going to barrack them from that point. But I am getting a bit over this whole Ayuk thing where it's getting drawn out the whole time, the whole time. And now it seems like they're getting into contract negotiations. So will the Steelers go and sign Ayuk to a to – a, or trade for a deal. I don't know. But everything like this kind of has to come to an end at some point when you think about it. Because same with the viral tweet with the, the Huck to a girl, right? Everything comes in cycles. Uh, there's going to be another next person stepping up, going viral. Not, it's not going to be me but or anything like that. But it all comes in cycles. And once we finally know or uh, hopefully know where Ayuk's going, Fantastic. I hope tomorrow or today when this video comes out that the Steelers have an idea that Ayuk's going to sign for them or trade for them or Ayuk's going to move on. That's that's the point I'm kind of at now. Like we're 25, what, 25 days away from training camp, the real, real, real dead period. So if people are checked out, that's fine. I'll catch you in 25 days. Hope you guys too out there enjoying the countdown. Um, been doing a lot of work as well uh, with my mate Cameron McCracken with the music in the background. So that's been a lot of fun. I've redesigned the new intro for the lies, all that kind of stuff. But with this whole like Ayuk thing, and he's gonna he's gonna met the team. He's 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 frustrated. He's annoyed. He's he's whatever, right? He wants a new team. He wants a deal. He's gonna win either way. I think the real but the real way that we win as fans is when we scroll through Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or whatever it may be, the same thing when you see the hack tour, tour memes, we would no longer see Ayuk's name come up. If he signs a deal for the 49ers, sweet, done. 
was it T Higgins or the other guy for the Bengals that were getting linked to the Steelers for him and he signed his contract, the franchise tag, and that's done. He's not going to be a Steeler, right? There was ideas around Bud Dupree signing for the Steelers and he signed, I think, back with the Titans or someone else. Like, I didn't even care where Bud Dupree signed for. But what I'm getting at is once we finally know that Ayuk is a Steeler or Ayuk is the opposition, then we're kind of like, okay, run with the team that we got. And the team that we have right now, the football is going towards Muth. The football is going towards Darnell. The football is going towards Najee and Warren and a big, big year for George Pickens. Along with CA3 and the guys like Van Jefferson, I've been talking about that receiver too. I'm not totally sold that there's like receiver one and there's no receiver two and the rest of the receivers got to fight their way and claw to be at that position to be like, oh, make me receiver two. I don't, don't think it works that way. So when I see this stuff, I look through Twitter, I'm like, there's nothing going on. It's really, really quiet. 24, 25 days until we see the football pads come on. But I still want to get you guys really excited and really keen. That's why I'm doing the countdown as well. And today's Mean Joe. Yeah, today's Mean Joe Green Day, 75 days away. And I see this stuff and I'm like, just, just fucking sign. Just sign somewhere. Just are you true somewhere? Go to the 49ers. Go be a Dolphin. Go be a Commander. Just choose somewhere so we no longer have to talk or link your name to the Steelers. Now, if you if you choose the Steelers or, the, or, the, or the, there's a trade or something like that, you can't choose the Steelers. But if there's a trade from the 49ers to Omar Khan, Omar Khan's like, you know what? I want one more piece. I want one more receiver to, get, to go on a Super Bowl run. Fantastic. I'll be your biggest supporter. I just, at this time, it's gone on too long, way too long. And I want you to sign somewhere. Just sign somewhere. Just get traded. Just, just sign a big contract to the 49ers and let it be done. Anyways, that, that's my thoughts on that. Is 49ers, Brent Ayuk is meeting with, this, with the 49ers last yesterday. So maybe over the next three or four days, something can happen where a deal is done and it could be big breaking news that I'll miss because I miss everything when I go to bed. It's eight hours uh, of American time that's over my head while I'm sleeping. And I wake up going, what? What do we, we sign Brandon Ayuk? Or I wake up going, oh, cool. Brandon Ayuk's now a dolphin for four years for a trade. Like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I just want something to happen because it's just too, it's just too much. I'm just kind of over it. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's my Brandon, Brandon Ayuk story. Not a real good one. Just kind of overseeing his name in the media. It just keeps getting linked back to the Steelers every single time. I'm pretty cool with our receivers. If they bring him in, good. Let's go on a Super Bowl run with Russell Wilson, get things done, run the rock, play big, play good defense, and have a chance to get AFC North 12 and 5. And, and that's one of your pieces. If he doesn't sign, then I guess we just got to wait out and see what happens, what happens in camp. And, and a receiver, too, in my opinion, will emerge and things will be sweet.